Hi, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about the ketogenic diet and insomnia. Some people actually have sleep problems when they start this eating plan, so we're going to go through all the different scenarios that could cause this and what we can do about it. Number one, too much coffee equals too much caffeine, which affects too much central nervous system stimulation, preventing you from going to sleep. In fact, one of the causes of insomnia is this excessive caffeine. So I would keep it down to one cup in the morning, okay? Not before bed, not two or three or a big one, just a, a small one in the morning. If you can do that, I think you're gonna be much better off, all right? Number two, not doing intermittent fasting. Ketogenic diets uh, don't really talk about um, avoiding snacks. So if you did three meals a day with two snacks and ate at night, and it was all like fat and some protein or whatever, um, you're gonna have too much food in your system and you're still gonna spike insulin, and that's still going to keep you from sleeping. So you really wanna do the ketogenic with intermittent fasting together, especially if you're not sleeping. Number three, you're bloated because you introduced kale. You saw my video on the kale shake, and the kale's healthy, so now you're eating a lot of kale. Well, you, you're not used to digesting it, so you're getting all this bloating. If that's the case, you're gonna to have to go to other vegetables and not the kale, because that bloating is gonna create stress. There's a, there's a lot of nerves in your digestive system um, that connect to the brain. And so it's going to keep you restless and uncomfortable. Change the vegetable. Number four, low potassium. When you do a ketogenic diet in general, you use more potassium. They're doing very small amounts of vegetables and they're not getting their potassium. So we need to beef that up and then you could supplement with potassium potassium citrate, you can do the electrolyte powder if you want, but that will also help calm the nervous system down uh, because you're gonna need more potassium. And so you could end up with a potassium deficiency if you don't consume enough potassium foods. Low vitamin B1. B1 is another vitamin that you're gonna use more when you're adapting to this ketogenic uh, mechanism. So you're gonna need nutritional yeast. Without B1, you can feel restless. You can have restless leg syndrome. You can feel nervous tension, especially getting to sleep uh, faster. It's like if you don't have B1, you, you're gonna kinda lay there and just start thinking a lot. So it's gonna affect a lot of uh, brain chatter. Number six, low calcium. In order to do a ketogenic diet, your body does require a little more calcium. So if you're deficient, you might notice leg cramps or even the difficulty getting to sleep. This is actually quite common. Adding a little calcium, you can do calcium citrate, calcium magnesium right before bed will enhance your ability to sleep, okay? Number seven, waking up with blood sugar fluctuations, either in the middle of the night or you wake up really, really, really hungry, okay? That means you haven't adapted yet. You're still in that phase where your body is adjusting and the best thing for that is apple cider vinegar in water right before bed. Take two tablespoons in some water, drink that down, boom. Now, if you're concerned about getting up and urinating, consume it maybe an hour and a half before you go to sleep, but it will definitely help your blood sugars, all right? Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press this little button down below, okay? Thanks.